With a cooling drawer, Bluetooth speakers, wireless charging, LED lights, a smart sleep app, and so much more, the Sobero side table is designed to help you live better. We started with a mid-century modern silhouette and paired that with cutting edge materials for durability and performance. We didn't just build a light into the Sobro, we created a customizable lighting system that can create a cozy atmosphere at night and can wake you up naturally with a simulated sunrise. It's so cool. We spent a lot of time on the little details, like the motion activated light bar that gently illuminates if you get up in the middle of the night. But we didn't just stop there. We also put in a white noise generator to help you sleep more soundly and an intelligent alarm clock, all controllable from the Sobro app. We knew from the beginning that we wanted to put in a cooling drawer. That way, you can grab a cool drink in the middle of the night or entertain your friends without having to step away from the action. Our cooling drawer is thermoelectric, so it's whisper quiet and uses way less power. And a quiet cooling drawer means crystal clear audio from our built-in speakers. The side table is designed for your connected life, so we added a wireless charging pad. It's as easy as setting down your phone. On the back of the Sobro, you'll find ports and outlets so you can connect any type of device for easy charging. We were truly humbled by the overwhelming enthusiasm from our backers with well over 4,000 people participating in our Indiegogo campaign. Now that our initial orders have shipped, we are thrilled to be ramping up production so that we can bring the next generation in smart furniture to the world. This, this table is truly amazing. The seven wonder of the world, wireless charging, Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth built-in speakers, um, refrigerator, storage drawer, more storage in between. Uh, all, you know, you have all your electrical wiring and all your chargers, uh, connecting cables and stuff. We have wire management. It's just truly a really, really, really good uh, table and it's, it's future proof so thank you so bro Hey YouTube, Brandon here. Uh, it's my very first video, so I don't even know if I'm doing this correctly. We'll see if it works once it gets uploaded. Uh, where I live, I, I, I'm surrounded by trees. I have tried to grow a garden so many times and it has never worked out for me. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna try. I, I just want some little bitty fruits, veggies, herbs, stuff like that. So this is the Arrow Garden Harvest model, and I'm gonna review it, see how it does, put it together with you guys and girls, and in a few weeks from now, we'll see if we got anything. But this video will be pretty much just a setup, I guess. Um, it comes out of the box exactly as you see it right here. Got the base, the bowl, the grow deck, which comes out, and your LED lights right here. Power plug, and so this was the herb option, which comes with thyme, curly parsley, dill, Genovese basil, mint, and Thai basil. Um, that's what I chose this time, just to start as a beginner's kit. Uh, I know there's more fruits and vegetables that you can get later on. So this is the pod kit. We're going to check that out, get that installed, see how that goes. And yeah, let me 
get this taken apart, read the instructions, and see what's next. All right, so the first step is actually pretty easy. It's just adding water. So you remove the grow deck, take your water, calls for uh, if you have hard or soft water on the extreme sides, it says to dilute it with 50% uh, distilled water, but my water seems to be fine. So this is what I'm doing. Just water from the tap. There's a fill to here line. All right, well that took, that took nine cups. All right. The next step is to add the plant food. Um, I have a six pod grow kit and on here it says for six pods, you use eight milliliters of plant food. It says that is two capfuls, but I don't like pouring stuff into caps because it gunks it up. So I got this little measuring device right here. You can do whatever you want. So just pour it on in. There's a warning on here that says, the more is not better. So don't add too much plant food. All right, let's put the grow deck back in and put it in the pods. Instructions say, do not take this label off. It's important. They fit pretty snugly down in there. Here's what the pods look like. Looks like that's uh, one of the basils. Next you place these grow domes over the top of the pods. These grow domes only stay on until the plant starts, gets close to the top, then you remove them. Next step is to plug it in, get it going. I'm gonna have to move it over there though, which I probably should have filled up the water over there too. Lesson learned. All right, moved it over here because it was the closest place to a power outlet. When you very first start growing, the light is as low as it can go. As soon as you plugged it in, um, these all start some type of timer. At a certain amount of time, this will remind you to add plant food. Let's see if we can get it in here. This one right here will remind you to add plant food. This one will remind you to add water. And this is the light on or off. You can control that, but it does it automatically as well, right when, and it starts right when you plug it in. So to start this off, you really don't have to do anything. You plug it in and just uh, keep track of these reminders here and you should be good to go. There are directions. There's a few things you can do to help out the, the process a little bit better, but I'm just gonna let it go and do its thing and see what happens. All right, well, that's it for the unboxing and the setup. I'll be back in a few weeks to give you an update about how the plants are doing. Uh, thank you for sitting through that awful video and potentially terrible sound quality and video quality.